if you were to give one piece of advice to future aspiring finance leaders to stay ahead of the curve, what would it be? My views are that you must keep an open mind so that you know you, you hear from both views and when you are contributing to an organisation with inputs that people value, people will gravitate towards you and that will definitely help you in the, your career and the, the impact to an organisation. Beyond that, I think in today's generation, you need to be very, very IT savvy, um, not to ignore uh, the IT risk and cybersecurity risk, especially with regards to backroom operations, because sometimes people think that that's just IT, but a lot of things that we are doing today requires initial input controls, and then towards the end, it just steamroller into one single process. So there is a need and to pay a lot of focus on the controls of the inputs in terms of IT. Otherwise, I think the cybersecurity risk um, is actually an ever-increasing threat to organizations today. Yeah, I think you talked about the digital importance of uh, finance function. I think uh, more and more companies are investing into software to uh, optimize their uh, decision-making process and also reduce the risk of fraud uh, and cybersecurity. So that is extremely important for organizations to safeguard the integrity of the finance data and subsequently that will help them uh, propel to make more business uh, decisions that are maybe uh, in line with investments or M&A uh, once your, your core finance um, function is strong enough. Well, Sheila, Thank you so much for your time. This has been incredibly enjoyable and I really value your insights. So um, once again, thank you for your time. Thank you, Fabian, for having me. It's been fun chatting with you this afternoon.